everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today, I've had a bit of a thought, so continuing on the theme of the last couple of videos about this little tank behind me, I've been thinking about backgrounds, and this is a budget tank, so I'm trying to do everything as cheaply as possible, so I'm thinking just get a bit of paint, paint the outside of the tank, get a bit of vinyl, something along those lines, but it actually looks alright, because that's just uh, plain empty straight through to the wall uh, and the walls painted that cream colour or whatever it is but I had a bit of a thought so you'll remember in previous videos up here on this shelf I had a bit of kind of accent lighting and that was where is it this just an LED strip it's an LED colour changing strip and I thought what if I put that down below at the back of the tank rising up to give it a bit of a coloured background so that's free and uh, that counts as counts towards the budget tank so I had a bit of a play I can't quite get it to sit properly because it's a bit of an unwieldy snake once upon a time it was sticky but it no longer is so I think this is a three foot section it's a two foot tank so I can make it a bit smaller so I had a brain a little bit of PVC pipe wrap that around like so, oops, until we get to the point where it's all the way across and stick that behind the tank because there's just a, just enough gap to fit that in there. So I shall do that. So let's have a cutaway to some of the antics of the puffers and I'll join you when I finish this. That's it, nothing more special than a little bit of tape at either end, um, they don't get hot these things, I've ran them 24 hours a day before and they just don't get hot so that'll be absolutely fine, um, and on one end, if you can see it, I've got this little plug bit where the power lead connects in, it's just a USB thing, so we'll pop it in. I'm just going to slide it behind the tank, it'll pretty much just sit there, I'll try and go behind that, so I'll just sit there like so, and I'll have the plug here for the USB, and straight away it's fallen down, so here's the first problem, get the plug in, I think it's set to orange at the moment, because that's what I had it on, which will probably look quite good if it's a um, sunrise sunset thing. It's in, it's on. I can definitely see that glow from here. I don't know if you can see it, but let's have a look. So when it's dark, you get a something like this. A nice orange glow, I guess kind of reminiscent of a sunset or a sunrise, something like that. I quite like that. Let me know what you think. Is it just a bit twee and silly, or it kind of looks pretty good, I think, but yeah, I'm often wrong about these things. Let me know. Let's see what it looks like the light's on. So with the light's on, you can actually still see it. Um, I don't know how well the camera's going to be picking this up, but yeah, it's a faint orange glow coming from the back. Seeing as these guys are out, 
It'd be a shame not to have a look at them. That's the pea puffers. Only got three of them at the moment, as I said earlier. But still living quite happily with all the shrimp. Unfortunately, can't get them onto the Hikari Vibra bites. Um, so they're on frozen foods at the minute. And mostly brine shrimp and bloodworms. But there are some baby tiny snails I've been picking out the other tank and putting in there for them. That they're trying to have a go at, but I think they're just too small. The fish rather than the snails. But yeah, so that's it. Let's turn the lights out again. Oh, in fact, I wonder what it's like with blue. Hey, that's pretty cool as well. So that's with blue lights with the orange background. Hmm. Obviously this happens to be a colour changing LED as well, so we can go through all the colours. So red, green, blue, yellow, pink, everything in between. Uh, have a bit of a disco if we want to. Or kind of a fade in and out from various colours. In fact, I think that's just white fading in and out. But it gives all kinds of options. So this is the one that colours. Yeah, this is the fade. The other one was strobe, sorry. So I don't want to give the fish a fit, but there's quite a few options in there. I quite like the white, actually, against that blue. Again, I don't know until we start editing how well this is coming across in the camera, but it does look pretty good, I think. I definitely think either red or orange is going to be my favourite. Um, yeah, I think I'll just leave that on all the time so when the lights go off you get that little bit of sunset look. This is, I'll, I'll try and put a, a link in the description as I said, it's just a cheap old thing so if you do want to buy one it's only costs about a fiver I think. Um, I'm pretty sure I got that one for free, sent to review it for an Amazon thing. That's it, just a quick one today. I just wanted to have a little play around with the lights and see if I can make something look vaguely interesting. I think it does, but let me know what you think. As always, if you've not done it already, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it makes sure you won't miss any future videos or live streams. I'm trying to do live streams at least once a week and get a video out at least once a week, so hopefully you can't avoid me. <laughs> uh, but yes, thanks for joining me and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.